dear friends good evening to everyone and welcome to the program yesterday i talked about kurskol valley h test kwh test and i told you when it is when can it be used when you have the one way anova if conditions are not satisfied then you can use this particular statistical technique to analyze and i have done the interpretation and everything 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 now today i am going to talk about median test and this median you know mean mode and median now on the basis of the median you can divide the group into two parts above the median and below the median because median can divide a particular group only into two parts okay so that means there has to be a, a continuous variable which you can use in order to make two groups and when you take this particular one then you will be taking the median and this particular method automatically will take care of that so the assumptions which you have here is one of the assumption is that there must be there must be two independent there must be two independent random samples then the second is the the first sample each from a it from a population with with unknown median so it is unknown median please understand the population is with unknown median not the sample from a population with unknown medium and and let us say unknown and if i say unknown medium if i denote it by m unknown medium on the x and the second sample the second sample it from it from a population
विद मीडियम नॉट मीडियम विद मीडियम विद मीडियम एम वाई सो प्लीज दीज आर टू पॉपुलेशन एंड यू डो नॉट नो द पॉपुलेशन मीडियम बट वेन यू आर टेकिंग दिस सैंपल फ्रॉम दैट वन यू कैन फाइंड आउट द मीडियम ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर सैंपल बिकॉज यू हैव द डेटा then third is the scale of measurement measurement of of the continuous variable must be must be at least on ordinal scale if you have the data if the data are on interval scale or ratio scale but do not satisfy do not satisfy the assumptions of parametric statistics then the median test can be used then another is that the distribution of the two two populations the distribution of two population must be the same then it can be used when there are extreme outliers why because it is the median so outlier let it be it does not make a difference because some outliers may be on in the above the median and some may be below the median 
So that's perfectly correct. Nothing wrong in that. Because when you are calculating median, you are taking the complete data. Now, these are some of the assumptions which you have to see, and they are not very strong assumptions. So that is why the median test does not belong to the, the parametric statistics. It belongs to the non-parametric statistics. Now, can you give me the name of the variable, one continuous variable, name of a continuous variable, So please give me the name of one discontinuous variable. Not discontinuous, continuous variable. So that I can write the title and I can write the objective and hypothesis and I proceed further. Okay, let me take the customer satisfaction. A study of customer satisfactions of people of a study of customer satisfaction of people of Indore. So, therefore, customer satisfaction is the variable and you are taking people of Indoor. If you want to specify the age of the people, then you can specify no problem. A study of customer satisfaction of people about the age of 30 years of Indoor. So therefore, your population will be anyone above the age of the 30 years. So therefore, they are the, you are not saying male or you are not saying female in this particular one. Now your objective objective can be to to compare mean, mean rank scores of customer satisfaction. Now the data of the customer satisfaction you will be having by using a scale. Your scale may be three point scale or five point scale or seven point scale that you have to decide. And there must be items where, which will be negatively, which will have negative connotation, negatively stated and some are positively stated. And the negative and positive must be in the equal number. Because if there are more positive statements, then your net result is always positive. If there are more negative statements, then your ultimate result is more negative. But if you want to have neutral, because sometimes it may be a situation that you may have a neutral, so therefore the number must be same. And these days, many of the scales which are available Okay, 
in the market and these scales are not all right. Why? Because some of the scales are having more positive and some are having more length, more negative. So therefore they are not all right. And the guide who are helping them to develop, I think they do not know or they are not paying attention to this particular aspect. So therefore I say to compare mean rank scores of, of customer satisfaction mean rank score because it is on the ordinal one so it has to be rank scores of customer satisfaction of male and customer satisfaction of male and female subject. Now the hypothesis can be that there is no significant difference in there is no significant difference in mean rank scores of customer satisfaction of male and female subjects. So let us go to our SPSS. This is the SPSS I have. So now I can go here. I have the gender and gender has got the two levels. One I say male, another I say female. And another is customer satisfaction. Now, if I have you may not have equal male and female does not make a difference. Now here, you tell me how many items do you want to have and what is the minimum score and what is the maximum score? So just let me know the minimum and the maximum. so that I can write the customer satisfaction score here. Whatever you say, 10 to 50, all right, no problem. No, Rupvati, what did you write? Four at least, what is the meaning of four at least? Does it mean the four scale you are asking? No, in one scale, the 
point either must be three or must be five or must be seven or must be nine. It has to be always odd number. Why? Because the middle one is undecided or neutral. So you can have strongly agree, agree, undecided, or in place of undecided, you may say neutral. And you say disagree and strongly disagree. If you want three, then agree, neutral, and disagree. If you want seven, very strongly agree, strongly agree, agree. Then neutral, disagree, strongly disagree, and very strongly disagree. Now, if you increase, then the discrimination becomes very, very, very difficult. So therefore, that's what you have to understand it. Okay. So therefore, let me write here. And if you want, you can have five, four, three, two, one. Or if you do not want, if you say four and a half, and then four, then three and a half, then three, then two and a half and two. You can have the difference between the two is either one or 0.5 or 0.75 or 1.25, anything you like. It has to be same. Interval has to be the same. <clears throat> we normally keep one difference. Why? Because it is easy to add, easy to compute. Otherwise, technically, you can have 0.5 difference. No problem at all. Okay, so let us go ahead. I hope all of you have understood it. Now I go to analyze and I go to non-parametric statistics and then I go to the K independent samples. And here you can say this is the Kruskal Wallis test and this is the median test. So I can take out this and I can highlight median. Now you have to have one continuous variable here so you can shift it here and this you can shift it here. And when you shift it here, then you can say it is one and two. If you want to have four groups, you can have four, no problem at all. Then minimum is one, maximum will be four. And you say continue. And if you want mean, etc., you can have, otherwise do not worry. And then go ahead. Then this is your output. That 
above the median there are 13 males and 14 females and below the median or equal to the median there are 12 males and 17 females and here you can say n is equal to 56 and this is your chi-square value and the median calculated is 20. And this chi-square value is not significant. You can find out here the assumption and that is 0.611. That means 61% error. And yet correction, they have used this also you can say the chi-square is this and assumption is this. So both the chi-square values are not significant. So therefore now you can take this and let us see how do I do the interpretation. So you have greater than median, it is less than or equal to median. Thirteen, fourteen, twelve, and seventeen. And your chi-square is equal to zero point two five nine. So I can say two six, and it is not significant. So let us go to our data. So let us see what was the number that I wrote here is four point eleven table four point eleven. All right. So four point twelve. So I will say four point twelve point zero. And then I say gender wise comparison gender wise comparison of mean rank scores of of customer satisfaction. I think that's okay. I can write customer satisfaction, no problem. So, Twelfth objective was to compare mean rank scores of customer satisfaction of male and female students. The data were analyzed with the help of median test and the results are given in 
table 4.12. Now, the men Whitney U test and the median test. The men Whitney U test is more stronger than the median test. Okay, that is because in the median test, you also have the rank to so mean rank scores and in the in the median test also you have the same but in the median test that you need not to have only two groups you can have an, even more than two groups but in men with in u test you cannot have more than two groups here I have only taken two groups, but I can take three groups. No problem. Just now I will give. I will take four groups. Absolutely no problem. But the men with any U test cannot be used when you have the more than two independent groups. So these are some of the differences between the median test and the men with any U test. So here you have gender. And you have your male. You have your female. On this side, you can have that above the median and this you can have less than and equal to the median. And here you have the chi-square. I will take the, so here you have the 13 and the, the females will are 14. And here it is 12 and it is 17. chi-square value and here the chi-square value is 0 0.26 gender wise distribution of of people distribution of people above and below below
below customer satisfaction median, below median of customer satisfaction. from table 4.12 that the chi-square value is 0 0.26. In though you have to divide the group on the basis of median. So there is a median value. So some scores will be above the median. That means greater than the median and some scores will be below the median. So that is why I have said greater than and less than or equal to. If the median is 20 and another is 19, so 20 and 19 both will be coming less than equal to group. So that is what is the meaning of that. Because you have to divide into two groups. You are not to divide into three groups. It's only two groups. And that division is not on the basis of mean. It is on the, on the basis of median. In though, why don't you understand the difference between the parametric statistics and non-parametric statistics? In parametric statistics, we talk of mean. But in non-parametric statistic, we do not talk of mean. Okay, we talk of mean rank. Mean rank. And here I am dividing the group on the basis. This customer satisfaction is a continuous variable. And this continuous variable, I am dividing it into the two groups. If you want to use parametric statistic, that, that is your choice, provided your data fulfills the assumptions of the parametric statistics. This is important. So if your data do not fulfill the assumptions of the parametric statistics, then there is no question that you can use parametric statistics. So this is what you should try to understand. Okay. So chi-square value is this, which is not significant. It indicates that that it indicates that the, the distribution of gender below and above, below and above mean, mean rank of customer satisfaction of customer satisfaction do not differ significantly.
So, so there is no significant difference in mean. There is no significant difference in mean rank scores of customer satisfaction of male and female people. Thus, the null hypothesis that there is no significant There is no significant difference there is no significant difference in mean rank scores of customer satisfaction <coughs> of male and female students people age not reject it may be said that both male and female people were found to have customer satisfaction to the same extent are found to have customer satisfaction to the same extent or level level so this becomes your finding My dear friend, median is used in order to categorize the customer satisfaction data into two parts. And the name of the statistical technique is median. Okay. So therefore, you have the ranks because it is on the ordinal scale. So the data are on the ordinal scale, so it is the mean rank. Now here, this is one which I have return if you want i can take another one where you have not only the two levels but you have more than two levels okay so do you want should i take another example where we have more than two levels If you want that we should have more than two levels, then I can have no problem at all. Now, just saying we can will not work. You have to tell me which variable you want to have where you have more than here, I had gender, only two. Do you have another one? Then you tell me. Okay, how many cast do you want to have?
in though if you want the buying pattern of people how many groups will you be having how many levels of the buying pattern of people just writing this will not work so you have to tell me what what will be the levels that you want to have yes gotam i know you can have general you can have st you can have o s e perfectly correct you can have no problem at all so let us have the cost so do you want to have the same variable or do you want to have a different variable you want to have the same continuous variable or you want to have a different continuous variable same you want to have same variable okay so let us have the same variable so let us your title will be the same so i'm only changing the object objective is to compare mean rank scores of of customer satisfaction of people belonging to general st sc and obc obc categories and then hypothesis that there is no significant difference in mean rank scores of customer satisfaction of people belonging to this so let us go to our spss and let me go to the variable and let me write here cost and here i have the four levels i say one as general two i say st three i say sc for i c o b c so let us have so let us 
have Okay, I have done. Then we go to analyze. We go to the non-parametric statistic, non-parametric test, and we go to K independent samples. And here I have already highlighted this. So let us take out the gender from here. We put cast. Navita, now I have already done. And now I have one that the minimum and maximum is four. So I say continue and I say continue. Now this is my, here also, my chi-square value is not significant. So it is the same story. Now, if you want to make changes, then I have to make changes. Otherwise, this is how it has to be done. Do you want, should I make changes so that uh, I have the significant value? Do you want that I should make changes in the data so that I have the significance value? Group Vanti, I have already seen your response. Let me see other participants. Okay, let us make the changes. Okay, I'm making the changes. Let me just see whether we have got the result which is significant or not. Yes, no, we still have to work on it.
Yes, now it is significant. But please, for God's sake, do not manipulate the data. You should have the data from the field and whatever is the result, if it is not significant, do not make it significant by changing the data. By because when you are changing the data means you are manipulating the data. And this is not required. Okay. So therefore now you can see the here. Here I have the general, then I have the ST, then I have the SC, then I have the OBC. And here it is 28, 21, it is 16 and 14, it is 5 and 8, and it is 2 and 13. And your chi-square value is 9.68, which is significant at 0 0.01 level. No, 0 0.05 level. Okay. So let us uh, take this and go to my... So this is my objective. It was 4.11, I suppose. Yes, 4.12, and this will be So it is 4.13. Here it is instead of gender, it is cost wise. Cost wise comparison of mean rank, mean rank scores of customer satisfaction. Thirteenth objective was to compare the data were analyzed with the help of median test and the results. are given in so the this was 12 given in table 30 so let us see here Cost the 
then here above the median and here less than and equal to median. And then here, chi square. I have written general. Oh, okay, here, all right. General. So you know, it is 28. then it is 16, then it is five, and then it is two. Here it is 21, then it is 14, and then it is eight, and then it is 30. And here is the chi-square value. All right. Here I have written category, no problem at all. So let us see chi square. And let's say here, the mark, and let us take out this. So here, the chi-square value was 9.68, and it was P is, less than 0 0.05. So now, now you can say, Cast wide distribution of people above and below median of customers' satisfaction. From table 4.13, it can be seen that. That the chi square value is 9.68, which is significant at 0 0.05 level with DF equal to 3. You know you can see in the output, in the output, you can say that this is the DF. DF is three, because there are four groups, so, so four minus one is three. DF is equal to three. Eight, 
indicates that that there is a significant difference in mean rank scores of customer satisfaction of customer satisfaction of people belonging to general s t s c and o b c cost if you can say no problem cost it indicate that there is significant difference in mean rank scores of customer satisfaction of people belonging to general st sc and obc cast thus null hypothesis that there is no significant difference in mean there is no significant difference in mean rank scores of of customer satisfaction of cost no we are not going to use the u test man witney u test will not be used here we only have to say on the basis of the number that the more people from the general category belonging to the above median or below median they have the better customer satisfaction so you cannot do more than that further it can be seen from table 4.13 13 that majority of people belonging to general that majority of people belonging to general caste were found to have were found to a better customer satisfaction from table it can be seen from further it can be seen from table 4 brain that irrespective of irrespective of irrespective of people below and above median majority of people belonging to general category one found to a better customer satisfaction as compared to people of other castes so this is how if you have more than that oh i did not write hypothesis 
I have written that the null hypothesis, okay, okay, is reject. So I wrote, but I did not write that. Thank you very much. So you say null hypothesis is rejected because chi-square is significant. So this is how you have to use the median test and can analyze your data. Okay, so I have completed the median test and tomorrow I will be talking about Wilcoxon signed rank test. So those who are interested, you may read it beforehand so that you start understanding it. It is Wilcoxon signed S I G N E D signed rank test. If if there is a question, please ask me the question. And if there is no question, then I proceed further. And the further is then thank you very much. Stay safe, keep learning. Any question you can ask me tomorrow also, no problem.